Hello everyone, welcome to 2022. Wow, this is a long time since I made the last video. This corona has screwed my team and my business completely. I have already updated you guys on this in my post, so I won't go into it again. But happy 2022. I hope this year will bring you better health and wealth and of course a lot of opportunity to invest in best of stocks. So today in this episode, we're going to be talking about my strategy of how I'm planning to invest in 2022 and what are my goals for this year. Yeah, I know, last year was not a great year to remember by. But after 2020, it was kind of a relief. We saw little less of deaths, little less panic and finally the arrival of mass vaccination program which helped us in finally coming out of our houses and get back to our work. This helped the stock market too and we saw Sensex and Nifty 50 gaining over 20% last year. If we just look at my portfolio only, then my last portfolio update of 2020 was on 23rd December and at that time my portfolio was at 18.75 lakhs and my invested amount was around 14 lakhs. Right now if you look at my portfolio, then my portfolio's value is at 40 lakhs 6434 rupees and the invested amount is at 22 lakhs 22,124 rupees. So in last one year, I have invested total of just over 8 lakh rupees, which to be honest is not a great number. But if we look at it through what kind of trauma these past years have been, then I think I'm okay with the number. I'm healthy, my team is healthy now, and we earned enough money to feed our families and then to save and invest some. So I think it's all good. I'm not doing that great as an entrepreneur right now, but I survived well through the worst of times and that's something to count for. But if you look at my portfolio from a restricted financial site of last year, then the final amount of my portfolio has gone up more than double in one year, from 18.75 lakhs to just over 40 lakhs. So that's a good use of capital. I have sold a couple of stocks and bought many more, but the core portfolio is almost the same. I still have my biggest investments in Rain, Butterfly, Edelweiss, Asian Granito and Suntech. I have been constantly buying these shares whenever they have gone down and I have lived this last year with almost no cash in my hand, apart from a little that I needed for emergencies. Now some of these companies are doing amazing right now, barring of course our old friend Asian Granito. Butterfly is up 700% and has been hitting upper circuit many of the days in this last month. One of the past Tuesdays only it went up like around 5% which was 56.80 rupees. But if we look at this 56.80 rupees from my original invested price of 167 rupees then on Tuesday, that Tuesday, I made a gain of over 34% on each share of this company just in one day. Isn't it the most wonderful thing? My buying price is 167 rupees and in just one day I see it jump up 56.80 rupees. Baki stocks bhi jaise ki Rain or Suntech kaafi achha kar rahe aur 100 to 150% gain pe hai. Edelweiss almost equal pe rehta hai ya thoda niche jata rehta hai mere buying price se but ye ek company hai jisko leke main kaafi excited hu in next two years mein. Now is the time when they are trying to unlock the real value of their businesses which are knitted inside the brand of Edelweiss and demerger of their business and listing them separately on bourses is going to be bringing a lot of money for us shareholders. By the mid of this year the first demerger is planned, wealth business will get separately listed and looking at how great this business is, I am pretty sure the valuations will be on higher side. Normally it is in between 5 to 15 times PE so I am quite excited about how it is going to pan like. And of course when you have something exciting then you also have something shitty in your portfolio. That's the part of investing journey. And Asian Ganeto is playing that shitty part in my life. Abhi ye kuch 12-20% down rehta hai mere portfolio mein. Aur jaise ki aapko yaad hoga recently inho ne ek right issue kiya tha. 224 crores ka jis mein mainne bhi paise lagaye the. Aur shares 100 rupees ke khaide the. But but but. This company always keeps surprising its shareholders. This is like the big boss of investing world. You have no idea when and how this company is gonna shock you. So now it seems like they are still not done with raising money and the board just decided to do another round of right issue for 500 crores. Right now company's market cap is around 690 crores and they are planning to raise almost the same amount. That's super odd. The details are yet to come so I don't know what's the plan but I'm interested in knowing what they are trying to do with the extra cash there. Apart from the excitement and shittiness, my overall portfolio is time to 80.30 up, which is a very decent return for now. Some of you have commented on me that my portfolio is not down, which is 60% time overall profit, when the market was also good. Because I got a question from you guys, I want to clarify it a little bit. See what happens in this kind of ongoing investment portfolio is that I'm constantly putting a big amount in new companies or buying shares of existing companies from my portfolio because of which the portfolio goes down a little bit every time I buy something new. 
जैसे अभी पोर्टफोलियो एटी परसेंट आप सपोज बट मैं तीन लाख रुपए अभी किसी नए शेयर में खरीद लेता हूं तो पूरा पोर्टफोलियो कई पॉइंट्स नीचे आ जाएगा क्योंकि वो नया शेयर तो अपने ही प्राइस पर रहेगा विदाउट गिविंग एनी प्रॉफिट तो मेरा प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज इमीडिएटली नीचे आ जाता है इसलिए आप देखेंगे मेरे पोर्टफोलियो की कंपनी जब अच्छा भी कर रही है उस टाइम पे मेरा पोर्टफोलियो कभी 200 परसेंट तीन परसेंट ओपन नहीं दिखेगा क्यों मैं कंटिन्यूसली जो शेयर्स गिरे हुए हैं या जो कोई नए शेयर्स हैं उनको खरीदता रहता हूं तो उससे मेरा प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज नीचे होता रहता है एंड आई एम प्लानिंग टू पुट एटलीस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन लैक्स ईच ईयर इन दिस पोर्टफोलियो सो यू माइट नेवर सी दिस प्रॉफिट एवर गोइंग टू टू और थ्री हंड्रेड और समथिंग लाइक दैट Yes, if I leave this portfolio B, then easily it would show some 200-300 percent gains in couple of years. Oh, couple of years I yaad aaya. If you're liking my videos, then I would love it if you can just smash that like button for YouTube algorithm. That helps a lot. Okay, now my plan is to keep adding companies where I find more value than its buying price, and then just let it ride. I'm not somebody who likes to question the business in every coming quarter. As I'm myself a small entrepreneur running two businesses, I know the hardship it comes up with and how looking at a business with short-term lens can be such a useless thing to do. The best thing for me would be right now if the market falls down further and I get to pick up my favorite stocks at cheaper price because right now it is still difficult for me to buy stuff. I already have closed down a few more companies with my analysis and soon you will be seeing a small amount of my income going in dues. Also this year my plan is to invest further in my system of passive income portfolios last year i have generated around 3 to 4 lakhs i think with it my plan for this year is to at least double the amount if you want to know what it is and how i do it then you can check out my passive income videos from my channel mainly this passive income will be coming from my crypto portfolios as you know stable coins give me 12.67% interest and i have around 4 to 5 lakhs invested in it right now and for this year i want to take it to 10 if everything seems all right then only Crypto is still a very young sector and things can go volatile any time. So that's why I'm going to be careful but I'm going to be putting 10 lakhs around in it. Like I'll be taking the amount to 10 lakhs. Also hopefully virus will subside in coming months and I get to keep some money for my business expansion that I've been planning from last couple of years but every time I go out to explore and expand my business I come back deflated with lesser money and lesser enthusiasm because of virus. So for expansion I might need to keep few lakhs on side too. As I've told you guys some time back I've been closing in on two finance companies one of them is a bank my next video is going to be on it most probably so that is one place where I'm going to be putting my money plus I'm very interested in few logistic companies like Mahindra Logistics and some others and I'm still looking into it but maybe by the half of February I will start putting my money in one or two of these companies new age logistics company like delivery is also coming up with its IPO and I'm interested in seeing how it works of course I won't be applying for IPO though There is a reason why I got attracted to this sector. My friend runs a business where he has to deal with logistics companies a lot and he constantly gets feedback from his customers about it and I'm very fascinated about what all I am learning from just having a conversation with this friend. He has customer data and great understanding of how this sector works which is something that normal people like us who don't have anything to do with logistics will not be getting ever. So I'm loving the walk and talk with this friend. Let's see if I can make money out of it or no. Of course these stocks were just the starting point and then eventually I have to sit down to see the books of these companies but yeah I think I found few gems that might be a good fit for my portfolio and interestingly these companies are also using a lot of artificial intelligence and machine learning which is one area where I'm super pumped to learn more about If you guys also know some good companies from machine learning and artificial intelligence then please do let me know in the comments below This past month January has been a quite volatile one where we have seen the census going up from 59000 to 61000 and then back to around 58000 in between we have seen the extreme sell pressure also and in a very sorry state some of you have sold their shares i'm seeing the messages now and nothing can be done now but i've been saying this from long time that whenever market falls it gives you an opportunity to buy your favorite shares I myself couldn't buy much as corona really sucked money out of my business and then the medical expenses of my staff and all plus some more buying of stable coins completely dried up my money pool but otherwise I would have preferred to pick up the stocks from my portfolio which have gone down below my buying price like little of edelweiss and sale some of you guys have been asking which of my portfolio stocks I'm going to be holding for over 3 years and I have mentioned this before also that all of these stocks are for long term only apart from vietech vabag I'm happy with my buying prices of these companies even in the case when it falls down. 
For Wabag, I paid a bit extra because of their area of business, which I think is gonna be there in almost every country in future. This whole environment and climate talks happening around the world will give a good push to countries to use Wabag like companies to take care of their sewage water, desalination, and other water related projects. And one thing we should not forget that this company works on asset light model. So all the heavy engineering work they outsource. So basically they are technology company working in water sector. But the problem is cash here. I would prefer them to have faster payments and some little more cash in their pocket. This is basically the problem of whole industry, but Wabag has a little more of it. And this is something where I underestimated this problem and paid a bit more than I would have normally paid for it. So that's why apart from Wabag, Mostly I'm going to be holding these stocks for long term until unless the story changes. My whole idea of buying these companies is that I have extra cash that I don't have to use anymore. And now I want my cash to make more cash for me. So I want to choose good companies at good price where I can park my money and let it grow. I have no interest in cashing out my profit and then looking for another company to make another quick profit. Because as you guys have been seeing from some time that I anyways take a long time to find a good company to buy into. So I would rather just park my money to let it grow than constantly going buying and selling and putting pressure on myself to find better and better stock. I have seen too many cases of burning hands like that and I'm not comfortable with that idea. I love Warren Buffett's investing style. In 1988, he found Coca-Cola stock cheap just after 1987 market crash and hence invested almost one third of his entire net worth that time and he is still holding on to that stock right now and making many times over in just form of dividends every year now. My idea investing is exactly that. But if I choose to sell any stock, then you will come to know here in my new updates of course. Being an entrepreneur, the most important thing you need to have control on is your free cash flow. That means that cash that goes into your own pocket after every expense. And this COVID has really affected my business in this field. Though I have been able to save pretty much 60-70% of cash that my businesses are throwing up, I'm still not doing as great as it was in 2019. In between I have hired a new guy also so there also some of the money went and the guy left in between so yeah that money went into gutter. Due to Corona, the staff's moral has also gone down and I badly need new people coming in with fresh energy to stabilize the business. In coming times, I'm planning to trim my operation cost a little bit more to extent of 9-12% and that money I will be putting in my passive income portfolio. Cash in hand, 1.5% of total net worth. So cryptos have been on huge fall in recent times. People have panicked sell and there has been gloom over the whole crypto market. In India, the regulation was also one of the headaches which got somewhat cleared after government has proposed 30% of tax on digital property. Abhi bhi bahut sari cheeze hain isme figure out karne ke liye but basic point hai ki aapke crypto ke profit ka 30% ab government ko jayega. And hence for right now it is all legal now and nothing to worry about. By the way, cryptos were never illegal in India but people hesitated. So we already have over 10 crore Indians invested in cryptos already. So this 30% tax will of course help out people in not thinking that cryptos are illegal. But still this sector is very new and many things can change in coming times. Like everybody, my crypto portfolio has also gone down significantly in recent times. It has lost like 40-50% to 50 of its value from the top. But it's okay, I get to buy more stuff at cheaper price. I bought a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Matic and stable coins like USDC, USDP, BUSD. If you are in the crypto world, I will tell you that your journey will be very volatile. The market can fall in one day in one day in crypto. Mein. So make sure that you invest only the amount that you are okay to lose. Mere according, this top ke crypto will be a very important component of the top crypto component. So I will hold it in the next day. Plus, when the rate will go down, I will hold it a little bit more. If the Bitcoin is below 30 lakhs, I will buy a little bit more. If the Ethereum is below 1.5 lakhs or 2 lakhs, I will buy a little bit more. Plus, I am keeping an eye on stable coin prices. And whenever they go down to 76 rupees or something near that, I am straight forward putting 50,000 rupees in it. My main goal is to keep my main goal in stable coins. I am keeping an eye on 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 और मैं इन्हीं में अपनी होल्डिंग बढ़ाता रहूंगा बाय द वे आई होप यू गाइज नोटिस दैट वॉल्ड एप हैज एडेड सम हंड्रेड कॉइन्स टू देयर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड दे आर ऑफरिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट्स ऑन मेनी ऑफ देम टू एज यू ऑल नो आई एम अर्निंग 12.67 परसेंट इंटरेस्ट ऑन माय स्टेबल कॉइन्स विच आई रिसीव एवरी मंथ 
this is pretty good amount to have every month and that too a fixed one. So I'm planning to have around 10 lakhs of my money in these stable coins so I can make around 1.3 lakhs from stable coins this year and then 6.7% from Bitcoin and Ethereum which will bring my total passive income from cryptos to maybe 4 to 5 lakhs this year. And if the price increases then I will make much much more. इस वॉल्ड ऐप का लिंक हमेशा की तरह नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में है आप उसको क्लिक करके डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं इन न्यू क्वाइंस आई लाइक लूना हिलीनियम एंड नियर If you guys want something little more solid then check out Matic at this price which is also called Polygon. It is at a very interesting point right now. Iske bare mein maine post bhi dala hua tha wo bhi aap jaake check kar sakte hain YouTube pe hi. So many of the companies and developers from Ethereum are shifting to Matic these days and they are really doing some amazing work there. It seems like market has still not factored in all these new advances made by Matic and sooner you might see the prices shooting up. But remember, use only the gamble money here. This is it for today's episode I want. If you like the video then smash the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you can get my portfolio update as soon as I post it. Signing out, My Money Universe.